feeling of the home I think is about a warmth and it's a retreat and you feel somewhat secluded and protected but at the same time you, you get those outlooks to the street side and to the rear quiet side of the house. My name is Jessica Jerome and I was the architect for this project. On the site originally there was a classic brick duplex so where one half of that it had barely been touched over the years so it was quite kind of run down. Uh, the backyard was nice and large but there was you know a few existing kind of sheds and garages that had been put there in the meantime so we were looking at kind of cleaning that up but maintaining the integrity of that existing brick building. The clients were interested in this site because there was a lot more open space than other dwellings in this area. They saw the ability to invest in this kind of property, make it into something new, rejuvenated, and harness that open space that wasn't so much available in other dwellings in the area. I'm Chris. And I'm Dowdy, and we're the homeowners. So our house is located in Lynham, which is in the inner north in Canberra. So we are just off North One Avenue, which is the main road that takes you into the Canberra CBD. Short walk from Dixon and Lynham shops and back onto the Lynham wetlands. We met a few architects when we started on this project. Uh, we met Jess, I think was the second architect that we met. It was very clear from our initial meeting with Jess as well uh, that we would be able to work together. It didn't seem like it was an easy job, but it certainly seemed like a job that she could tackle. Um, so I guess there was that kind of quiet confidence in her. After our initial conversation with Jess, I was really excited. I really had this strong sense that we were kicking off on a really exciting process, um, but also we were in really good hands. Uh, so the brief for our project was fairly simple. We had this existing duplex in Lynham. We were really keen to make some more use of the internal space, um, relocate the existing kitchen, bathroom, laundry, add a garage, Beyond that, we didn't really have strong views about what we wanted. We just wanted a really well-designed house. And then kind of the rest was up to Jess to kind of come back with some ideas based on that, you know, simple brief. We really wanted to maintain the look of the original form from the street. So we didn't want to try and overtake what was already here. So we kept the integrity of all of the existing. And then when we did create an extension on the, on the rear and to the side, we really wanted to kind of butt in softly and with a different material and really kind of focus on the original brick dwelling and just be very gentle and not overpowering. The materials uh, through the project, particularly internally, they really create a different feel in each space. So you enter the ground floor area and you get warm shades of timber and bright whites and then that contrasts again in, in places like the kitchen where it's, where it's dark. So it helps differentiate the different spaces and, and you flow between each of them and each one has a slightly different feel but they all tie together nicely. The types of spaces that we created outdoors was a deck area which connects directly with the indoor area um, but then beyond that we wanted to create multiple places to rest and pause and relax outside so we have an outdoor covered fireplace area with bench seats and then beyond that we have the more open garden which is veggie patch open spaces. I think in some respects the connection to the garden was almost a throwaway line at the end of our first meeting with Jess. That opening out onto the backyard has actually really defined the house and has really shifted the focus from what would have been inside the house to the backyard and over the back fence and I think is a really successful part of the design is that connection between the indoor and the outdoor spaces. And also Lynham as a community, people are friendly and you find that you'll be just out the back or you'll be standing in the kitchen, you'll hear people talking about the house or talking about the bill they you know they watch the progress or they lived here at one point when they were students it's, you know it's quite flattering and, and quite nice to be able to engage with the community a little bit more the things that I learned about working with the clients Chris and Dowdy was how well a process can go when I guess there's trust involved when there's transparency where there's good communication where the values align all those elements really just made for such a seamless process what I'm most proud of is the fact that we maintained the original kind of duplexes. We were true to it as much as we could be. So when you drive up the street, you still recognise that original duplex. One of the unexpected benefits for me has really getting an appreciation of how good design and good architecture can bring people together. We've had so many conversations with people about how well designed our place is and the inspiration it's given them to start a similar process for themselves and also all the conversations with just regular passers-by that want to comment on how beautiful our house is. I knew we were going to have a beautiful house but I didn't appreciate you know, the interactions that that would also drive. It.